back to another one of my videos. I'm going to keep the intro short and sweet because so many people just dive off on my crap intros. So I'm going to try and make it a little bit better. But stay with the video because there's going to be some interesting stuff involved with it. See you in a bit. Okay, as uh, taking on from the last video, we've now got the plug all cleaned up, sanded down for uh, to take our mould from. Uh, you can now see the difference in height from one on the other. So you can see we've now got a deeper cowling. We've got to proceed in waxing it up a, li a little bit and apply a little bit more wax now. So we'll just give it a bit more. Once it's dried out a bit we'll uh, give it a polish off a bit more. So we get our mould as clean and shiny a finish as we can. Better result. I'm going to apply about four layers of wax on it. Okay, and we will let that dry again. Obviously you're not going to watch it dry, but I am. See you in a bit. Okay, let's get that off a minute. Whew, it's a bit smelly, but so far so good. We've got our first layer of uh, fibergloss down. We're going to put another good solid layer over there for the mold and give us some strength in it. That'll go on a little bit further. Um, so while that's happening, we're going to go on and do something else. So we're going to take some tests, some more tests today on uh, another flywheel and also I've now got the flow board flow o meter so we've got a list of all the tests we've done here and the meters per second of airflow that they've done so a bit like Clarkson let's see where the next test mm -hmm. ends up so we're going to go and do some more tests now, see you in a bit. Okay, and here we are back on the test bed again. With, uh, we've got a Cassatronic ignition here to test with one of my covers on it. And it's running the plastic fan at the moment that it come with, the original plastic fan. So uh, we're going to see what this one will do. And then we're going to change the fan to the uh, CNC machine one that they do which is supposed to be the performance version let's see if it really is a performance version or not so let's get the bike started Have a look what we've got and if anybody can read that 6.7 pretty good that's pretty damn good so that's 6.7 meters per second with my cover on it not bad at all quite impressed okay so uh, this is the Casa performance fan um, as you can see it's got far less fins and they're also cut away here at an angle which means they don't line up with the edge of your cowling for some reason 
I don't know why they've done this. I think they might have done it so it fits correctly with the CASA uh, cooler kit. So maybe it could work better with the CASA cooler kit. I don't know unless I'm supplied one to test. But fitting this, does it flow more than the original fan? So let's find out. Right, we're going to take another reading now with the CASA performance fan on. Uh, let's see what see what, what we get. Six meters per second. Not too bad at all. Right, we're swapping it back again now. Um, I'm putting the plastic one back on. Now, I'm not a big fan of uh, plastic fans, and that is because they have a tendency to break, and also, they don't dissipate heat. They actually sort of hold it in because they're, they're an insulator. So, your plastic fan is literally not helping cooling your engine. It's helping by the, the airflow, obviously, over the engine, but it's not acting like an actual heat sink itself. Whereas your alley fan or a cast fan is, a, is an actual heat sink itself and it will literally dissipate heat from the fins because the heat travels up through the crank and uh, heats the flywheel up. As you probably notice if you put your hand on your flywheel when it's, when it's been running, well, obviously not while it's running, <laughs> but when it's been running, it'll be hot. So therefore it is actually removing some heat from your engine. So this will remove heat thermically, but the plastic fan doesn't. So that's the only thing that I don't like about the plastic fans. But this one from Casa Performance actually seems to uh, underperform. The diameter is the same, but the fin area is actually less. It's got less fin area actually on each fin. The angle is the opposite to the original. I don't know why they've done it like that. And there's less fins in total. But it doesn't seem to be performing as well. So I think this one did 6.2 and the Casa Performance did 6. So it's down. So back to our leaderboard and we'll chalk in our new results. So uh, here's our leaderboard. BGM is still looking like number one at the moment for airflow. But now the Casa Lambretta it's coming level pegs with vape. We've we'll put it in Casa with my cover. 
and it got a very nice 6.2 meters per second but then uh, the CASA cover the CASA flow wheel sorry with the CASA performance fan and my cover got a 6 so that slid down from 2nd place all the way down to 5th place with very close contention across the top there it looks that like most of them are flowing around the 6 area uh, 6 meters per second so they're all pretty equal except at the moment Casa's out on uh, BGM's out on top with 7.2 Casa performance with my cover on at 6.2 Vape with my cover on at 6.2 then we've got an Indian one with one of my covers and the dome center at 6.1 and the Casa one with the performance fan and my cover getting 6 so and then so on down the list I've got the whole list there for you uh, we'll keep track because coming up soon will be my new vape fan but that's probably in the next episode or will it be let's see right we've got uh, some of the two three coats of uh, gel coat into the molds now and uh, I've cut some some of the fiberglass matting what I'm using is this uh, fine fiberglass woven mesh it forms really nice and it's really super strong and it allows you to have thinner fiberglass without being thick uh, so you've got a big thick fiberglass cover now minor lightweight and slim so I'll put three coat three layers of this in and that is strong enough so Hey there, well, we've been left that overnight to, uh, to harden off and uh, I got a bit fed up of uh, working on fiberglass yesterday, it was doing my head in. But today, we've now freed it off from the mould. So that's how it comes out after the wax release on it. So now we need to clean off, trim it all up. Drill all the holes in it and set it up on the mag housing so it fits correctly and then trim it to get the correct clearance on the fan. We want about 2 mil clearance, run it as close as possible. So that's the next job. Right, now it comes to uh, marking up the holes. We've got our mag housing, and on the back of the mag housing, we've got some 
blue industrial blue uh, engineering blue here, or rather blue felt tip, with some scribed lines in it. Gone too far. Come on. It's a rather tight fit, which is good. Okay, it is finally on. What a nightmare. It took days to sort all this out. Um, is it really worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I bloody well hope so. <laughs> Enough money and time's gone into it. Uh, so, if other people buy this, they're liable to spin it as a frisbee into the corner of their shed by the time they're finished with it. So, it's actually on. Um, I've got to start the bike up and get it warm first, but then once it's warm, I'll set the tick over up at the uh, the similar sort of speed as we had before. So and then uh, and then we'll do a run, take a test with it, and see what it's got. I'm hoping it's going to be good. Please, please. So. about the same RPM or maybe even a bit lower than what we were running before. Uh, let's have a look what the results are. So we're at 8.5 meters per second. Ah oh, damn I'd have loved to have got 10 or something <laughs> but still that's pretty good 8.5 that's going on the board. So my bait with a WWM fan and my centre in it, running with one of my cowlings, has done an 8.5 metres per second, which puts it at the top of the table, right at the top. Vape, plus my cover and the centre. Well, I think that turned out alright in the end for me. I'm running it as close as I can. I've done everything I possibly can to try and get the, the flow as best I can. Bigger fan, machine centre and everything. Uh, but considering from the 8.5, from the 4 on a standard Indian, down the bottom, we've actually doubled the airflow at the same RPM, which is absolutely incredible. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy my videos.